Hi guys, how's it going today? This is Matt here at MH Alters uh, coming at you with episode number three of our time lapse. Uh, we got a pretty special thing going on here today. Um, I got to be able to do a commission work on a um, damaged tundra. Uh, I know it's hard to tell in the picture here in the video, but um, there's a lot of bumps and nicks in this tundra. This tundra's definitely seen some better days, but um, that's what I was there for. Did some uh, commission work for the owner of this piece. Uh, wanted me to do some Aurora Borealis-esque uh, kind of theme. So it gave me a little bit of free reign with some parameters here and stuff. But uh, definitely wanted to breathe some life back into this piece. Also today, um, I'll be rattling off some Q&A questions. I was able to actually get a hold of Jesper Murfos. Um, Sorry, Jesper, if I pronounced your name wrong there, but uh, big shout out to Jesper, uh, fantastic man. Uh, he was one of the first artists that actually was um, got back to me, so very humble. Um, I was so excited to do a Q and A interview with him. I'll have a, a full interview um, list of all the questions and the answers that uh, he gave me. He gave me more info than I could have possibly put in this entire video. So again, big shout to him, great guy. Um, so, uh, without further ado, uh, we got a Tundra here today. So, not only do most of you know, but Tundra, um, the card itself for uh, Magic the Gathering, um, it's a pretty expensive card, so I was pretty pretty excited to do this. This card, I uh, was sweating a little bit when I got to hold it, you know. Revised editions, two to three hundred bucks, and limited three to five hundred, beta, fifteen hundred to three thousand, alpha is anywhere from 1800 to 4500 uh, such a fantastic card um, the artist himself Jesper he's born in 1964 in Sweden he's a founding member of Hidden City Games and Clout Fantasy um, Jesper also um, works uh, for Greyborn Studios definitely been in the illustration um, and publishing field a lot so he's a fantastic man big shout out to him uh, did Rage of the Warriors of the Apocalypse, Publisher, Rapture, the Second Coming, Publisher. He was around for 9th edition, 7th edition, Ice Age, um, Graphic Designs, Antiquities, and Legends was uh, big sets that he was involved in too. Um, so some of the questions that I had for Jesper, you know, what was his inspiration for the Tundra, Tundra piece? Uh, the backgrounds of the illustrations for Scandinavian children's books about Tomte, Astrid, Lindgren's Top and Tails is definitely a good example, he said. He's always been drawn to cold spaces, and I have to agree with him, me too. So I think this is why this this piece has such a uh, holds such a near and dear, close to my heart for one of my favorite arts. It's just such a fantastic piece. Uh, his favorite mediums to paint with are acrylic, vinyl-based, very durable, and the colors are fantastic. I have to agree with him on that. Obviously, for magic cards, I have to definitely water down my acrylics a lot more. But uh, folks see me doing a lot of uh, pieces on here and stuff where I'm uh, painting over a spot and then, you know, it's still pretty translucent and I'm going back to it. It's just the, the style that comes with painting magic cards. You don't want to glob on massive amounts of paint. You want to do a little at a time, go back through, do some more. Definitely, it's almost like a watercolor. Um, <clears throat> so in his eyes, the greatest piece, uh, he contributed to the MTG world. Artistically, Elves of Deep Shadow, um, and pop culturally, of course, Atog. I'd have to agree with him on that. Um, I did some research on Mr. Jesper, um, and he could correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I'm pretty sure he had a pretty huge contributing um, mind to the M MTG card backing that we have now that hasn't changed for for many years. Um, so yeah, uh, what keeps him busy nowadays, uh, he's definitely running uh, his own business and having his hands in all kinds of publishing and illustration. Um, I asked him if he would ever want to come back for um, to do some more um, work for MTG and uh, they back, brought back royalties. Um, I did, he did get in depth for, with a few things with magic, you know, um, just like a lot of the artists I've heard and talked to and things like that they um, kind of got out of it because the magic just kind of turned into you know making money um, the bottom dollar the actual you know company itself 
and uh, I would agree with him personally, but uh, we're here for the art, so, um, you know, we all know how Wizards of the Coast can be with some things, you know, it's sad, but uh, they're still pushing out some really great art, so just wanted to highlight the artists themselves with everything, they go through a lot of crap, but uh, they definitely push out a lot of amazing pieces, people don't really think about it when they're playing it, but uh, you can definitely highlight it when you can try so, um, without further ado, I'll let you guys uh, sit back, listen to music, watch me paint away. Hope you enjoy it. Peace out until next time, and always remember, be kind, rewind.
folks. Um, that is a brand new Tundra for you. Uh, I hope the uh, owner of this card really loves this piece. I really enjoy doing it. Um, don't be afraid to shoot me a message if you guys want anything like this. Um, more than happy to uh, facilitate that for you. Um, again, big shout out to Jesper. Very, very grateful. It was fantastic chatting with you. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to uh, see if there's any other pieces in the future that uh, people want me to do of yours. And, uh, yeah, maybe have some more questions for you. Until next time, folks, be sure to like, comment, share. Let me know what you think.